Hi and welcome to Reaper TV. I was recently asked if there's any way of adding notes to tracks and projects in Reaper. So without knowing, I took a little dig around and a bit of searching and come across a couple of ways to actually do this. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add notes to your entire project, how you can have those notes pop up when you load the project in, and how you can apply notes to individual tracks and how you can apply keyboard shortcuts to access those particular notes for your track. So let's take a look at how we can do all of that right now. So you may be wondering why would you want to add notes to a project or to a track inside a project? Well, there are lots of different reasons, but let's take one scenario. Let's just say that you write and record music and Part of that, you use different guitars, different tunings, different amplifiers, and different combinations. Well, you could just create a spreadsheet and a matrix, and you could just note those things down in there. But if you can apply it to the track that you're working on, it means that 12 months, 24 months down the line, where you think, what the hell did I use on this particular track? What tuning was I using? Well, you can load that track up, and you can open up those notes, and you can see exactly what you were doing on, on a track-by-track track or a project-by-project project basis. So we're going to start off by applying it to the entire project and we'll break it down then into actually applying it to the tracks and some of the other things we can do. So let's take a look at how we can add it to the project to start off with. So let's just add a track, it doesn't really matter what it is, just so we've got something in the project. Now if I go to File and I choose Project Settings or I press Alt and Enter, That'll bring up the project settings dialog box. And if we take a look at the, the tab on the right hand side, you can see we've got notes. So I can type anything I want in there about the project. And we'll just put something in there. So now if I save that and I save the project, that will be available to me every single time. I can go to file, I can go to project settings. And I can take a look under the notes section and see whatever it is I've got on there, which is great. But we've got a couple of other things we can do on there as well. If we look at the bottom, we've got the checkbox that says show notes on project load. So let's just check that. Click OK. And I'm going to save the project. Doesn't really matter what I want to call it. We'll just call it notes. And we'll save that. So now I'll close this file down. And we'll just open it back up. And now when we open it up, the first thing that happens is when the project loads, the notes dialog box opens up on screen for us, which is a great way that if you pass this on to someone else and you've got specific things you want when you're doing the mastering or things like that, when they open the file up in Reaper, the notes tab will pop up straight away, giving them whatever information that you wanted, or alternatively, whatever information you wanted when you load the track in. So that's a great little tip and right by there. But you can also do this to say that you want to save as default project settings. So when you create new projects, these settings are saved as default with those new projects. So again, it could be useful in different circumstances. So that's how we can apply notes to a project and how we can have that load up by default whenever that project is loaded into Reaper. So the next thing we're going to look at is how we can apply notes to a particular track. Now, out of the box, Reaper doesn't have this facility built in. This is version 5.20 and to date that's not available. They may add it further on down the line so keep an eye out for that. But right now we need to install the SWS extensions to get access to this facility. So download and install that. The link is in the description below. I'd recommend installing this anyway because it expands upon the already expressive arsenal we've got available to us in Reaper itself. And it gives us a lot of really cool functions and speeds up a lot of processes. So grab that, it's completely free, install it, and then you're ready to start adding the notes. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the actions list. We're gonna do show action list, and we're gonna just filter that out. And we're gonna search for the SWS open and close notes. So you can see we have a range of different options available there, actions help, item notes, marker names, and so on. And the one we're looking at is open close notes window track notes. So you can see at the moment the state by default is off. So if we select that, we can now do a few things with it. We can either assign a shortcut to that, a keyboard shortcut, or we can add it into the right click menu or any of the other menus on our system. So what I'm going to do to start off with, I'm going to apply a shortcut to it. So what we do is come up to the shortcut section at the bottom and click add. 
and now we can use any keyboard combination that we want so I'm going to use alt and N then I'm going to say OK so if provided that hasn't been applied to anything else that's now become available to us so let's just move this window out of the way let's click on this track and let's do alt and N and there's our track notes available so we can now put in whatever notes we want We can apply that, we can check, and you can see we've got a range of different options in there. So we'll say that's all I want to do on there. So we've now got that applied. So if I do Control and uh, sorry, Alt and N again, you can see that brings up the track notes, and we've got the notes we want available. Let's put a new track in there, make sure that's selected, do Alt and N again, and as you can see we can now put something else in there. So there's our track notes. So the keyboard shortcut is there, but we could also apply that to the right-click menu. So at the moment, if we right click, you can see there's, there's already a ton of options in there, but we don't have the option to choose the notes. So let's just bring this back in. And now we're gonna to go to the menu editor. And what we can do now is we can say we want to add a new item. So when I click add, you can see we get the option now to add in an action, a separator, a label, or a sub menu. But before we do that, we need to make sure that we're on the right menu. At the moment, we're looking at the main menu, which is the file menu. So if we click on that, and what we're looking for is the Drag Control Panel Context. So we click on that, and that will bring up now the right-click context menu. So we can click Add again, and we can say Add an Action. Make sure we filter for that action, and there's our action at the bottom of the list. So we can click on that, double-click. That adds that in at the bottom of the entire menu structure. So you can see that's right down the bottom now. So we can drag that and position that wherever we want in our menu structure. So I'm going to take that closer to the top eventually. There we go. Start to scroll up. And once we get it to the position that we want, I can let go and then I can rename it. So we're almost there. Okay. So we'll go. But there it is fine. So at the moment, that's a bit of a long old name. So what I can do is I can click on rename that. And I can just say open close notes window. We'll just get rid of that and get rid of that. So that now makes more sense. So if we click on save and we close that down, now if I right click, you can see you get the option to open close notes window alt plus n. So we'll do exactly the same thing. So I can click and there's our notes window. So that's all there really is to working with notes, either with a project or on a track by track basis. So we've taken a look at how you can open those up by default, how you can apply shortcuts via keyboard shortcuts, or you can add them to your right click menu to customize the interface to get exactly the way that you want. Well, I hope you find a use for using notes in your projects. I hope it's something that you didn't know about and now you've learned a little bit something new, same as I did today. If you did enjoy it, please give the video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel to be kept up to date with all of the content we add every single week. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback on this particular video, pop those in the comment section below. We try to read and answer everything that you post. Well, until next time, happy mixing.